African Institute for Capacity Development stands out to champion more formulation and pitching of research, training, in capacity building for dispensing human resource that we leave to the challenges. And for that matter, the divisions pattern up with public universities and we dispense information. But a key point, we organize this by annual and annual meetings of the ICAD governing board to understand and to bring governments together to discuss and fund the African Institute for Capacity Development. In particular, the theme we have in Tanzania, the United Bank of Tanzania now, is about housing. And ICAD has patterned up with uh, biosolutions of the world to take on the technology development and innovation that was done by University of Dar es Salaam and University of Nairobi and Makere University on low-cost housing, where we have a demonstration house at Nananane grounds in Morogoro. Furthermore, the expectations of this governing board in Tanzania is a relic of the roaring out of governance meetings, country after the other. It is important that we came here because the incoming chairperson of the governing board is the permanent secretary Minister of Education, Science and Technology, Tanzania, Professor Caroline Nombo, and with the busy schedule, and having had an identical moment to be in Tanzania, we came and with, we are thankful that she has come to receive instruments of power. Finally, the universities in the region must now compete solve problems of society beginning from churning out graduates of repute, graduates that can innovate, and then the refresher courses we do as an institute, we guard jealously on the competitive structures of new forms of human resource churning out, and in the end, it gives a leverage to society because ICAD dishes into the treasuries of the countries that support ICAD, and here we are to show accountability. ICAD in itasisi iyo anzishwa miaka miki kilogrio pita, na ilianzishwa kwa msaada kutoka Japani, shirika lile la JICA. Lakini mwaka F2 na F2, JICA waliondoka, na inchi zile tatu Kenya, Uganda na Tanzania, Zikaamua kabisa kwamba zitaiendeleza na tika saini mkataba wa kuidumisha ili iendele kufanya kazi kila ambacho ilikuwa inafanya. Aa, kwa kipindi hiki sasa hivi i, i, inajikita zaidi katika kujaribu kujenga uwezo wa wanataaluma. Kuwawezesha kujua namna ya kutengeneza vitu kama e, mitala, namna ya kufanya utafiti, namna ya kuandika utafiti wamefanya training kadhaa katika nchi zote tatu aika katika nchi tatu katika uendeshaji wake uh, kila mwaka mara mbili bodi inakutana kuangalia mipango ya ICAD na pia kuisimamia uh, safari hii imekuwa nizamu ya Tanzania na sisi kama ofisi ya ICAD Tanzania ni wenyeji wa mkutano huu kwa hiyo tumejisikia vizuri kwamba shughuli za ICAD zinaratibiwa na kuangaliwa kwa hapa E, labda niseme kwamba kwa upande wa Tanzania kama ofisi yetu imefanya mambo kadhaa ambayo yanatekeleza yana dira ya ICAD ikiwa ni pamoja na kuwaongezea uwezo maarifa na na maarifa na stadi za mambo mbalimbali mbali. kwanza kabisa niseme kwa mfano kwa upande wa changamoto ya upatikanaji wa vyakula kama a, e, mpunga mchele a, ICAD Ofisi ya Tanzania imefanya shughuli za mafunzo katika wakulima vikundi mbalimbali mbali, kama vile Dakawa, uh, Malinyi, kuweza kuzalisha mbegu bora ambazo ilikuwa ni pia mbali ya mipango yetu ilikuwa ni kuitika wito wa uh, makamu wa rais wakati huo ambapo alisema kwamba Tanzania jitegemee katika kuzalisha uh, mbegu. Lakini pia tumewawezesha wajasiriamali wa sindikaji wa vyakula wadogo wadogo kuweza kuongeza thamani ya vyakula na hiyo imewaongezea kipato na pia kuwanufaisha 
watu wengi ambao katika mnyororo wa thamani wa mazao haya. Tumedhamiria. Tunaboresha elimu yetu.